Let's see what we can do with this one. This one's going to be an interesting one. The colours look really nice. Let's see if we can make it look nice after I've done this. I'm going to leave it on 100 as we normally would. wonder what colour we're going to give it. I'm going to give it orange. Okay, let's see what we have here. It is a Woman's Weekly, okay, a, a uh, gossip magazine of some descript. It's probably not as gossipy as some magazines, but it is, I think it's a gossip magazine um, of some descript. <laughs> of some descript, I keep repeating myself. Sorry, folks. Uh, Okay, that looks really interesting. There's a lot of darkness in that. Uh, that's Naomi Watts, I presume. Whatever. Whatever, get it, what? As in whatever. Uh, uh, terrible joke. <sighs> Try and make it. It's a little bit too bluish, the face. Oh, fuck, I hate this stupid user interface. I don't know what I did there. Fuck it. Stupid. Oh, this is really dumb. This is what the monkeys of Conic and Minolta have thought up as a way of making money. As in, money is the ruler of these stupid monkeys who can't build anything decent. Show a Yamana of Conic and Minolta fame can go fuck himself, slut. He can't make anything. He doesn't know what's what's good and what's not. And the monkeys he employs in the, fact, in the factory and in the R&D facility, they can go fuck themselves. They can't build anything. They're fucking idiots. They're fucking drop, dropouts. Useless. I hate this fucking technology that we have today. It's fucked. They don't know how to build anything good. Anyway, that's a nicer uh, hue. That's a nice, cool. That's what we want. I don't think it's quite what I'm after for the design of this, but it looks nice colour-wise. So we've got the colours looking brilliant. We did something a little bit different, which is nice. But basically, I'm really over this, um, the way companies like Conic and Minolta hire monkeys. Effectively, they're monkeys. They're not smart people. They're not clever. They're not creative. They just know how to s scratch their balls and, s and scratch their armpits and screech and make um, and eat bananas. That's how I see them. I don't see... I have no respect for them. They're fucking idiots. But what can you do, you know, in a world that monkeys control? Uh, money, money has become the god of all these evil people. Um, but basically, really, we can't do anything to stop this. Um, I have a dream, folks, that I want to redesign uh, the photocopier from scratch to make it something better to make it something that is good for the environment and also good for the human race. So it's going to be 
made from, mostly from recycled materials. And these recycled materials will come from places like India and China, the huge uh, electronic waste dumps that, that, that are in these countries polluting their environment with waste that, can, that should have been recycled to start with or shouldn't have been made in the first place. So these equipments are going to be made mostly from recycled materials and in the process we clean up places like China and India of this waste. We make a difference in that respect. And also, how should I put it, we make the equipment, the hardware, last around 60 years so we don't have to uh, use more resources that we need to use, such as energy like gas because you need gas to to fire things up you know in the in the foundry where all the metal happens for example so you know you've got to basically conserve power conserve gas gas is a, a finite source hopefully one day we'll find something better than gas to fuel our factories but in the meanwhile we have to conserve gas because it's a finite source and also it's polluting it you know um, contributes to climate change so we have to use it sparingly and in a targeted manner until we can find a renewable power source or a renewable power source that can that can be used to melt metals and shit like that and process glass and and silicon and all these other materials needed for this pro producing this equipment for the future so we have to think of the future folks uh, we can't just think of the here and now and also the workers as to the working conditions these workers are, this factory incidentally is going to be made everything's going to be designed made and owned in Australia this will be an Australian company and an Australian factory everything's going to be Australian, except for the materials that we ship from China and India and other third world countries that need to be cleaned up. So we're going to make this as Australian as we can get and pay the workers what they're worth in Australian terms. Real, real pay, not slave wages. It's going to be, they're going to be, they're going to be paid a little bit more than what they're actually worth. They're going to be given a bonus working in this factory is going to be a pleasant is is I endeavor it'll be a pleasant thing to work in this factory and to work anywhere else within this organization it's got to be a pleasant place a place where people can feel comfortable and happy and loved and cared for so it has to be a very friendly and congenial environment we live in and as for the design of the copiers, once again, we're going to make them user-friendly. We're going to make use uh, artificial intelligence. Now, this looks brilliant. We're going to use artificial intelligence in these equipments. It's not going to be sentient. It's not going to have feelings. Uh, these equipments are going to just be equipments, but they're going to be good equipments. And we're going to make these equipments very user friendly and that the people who use who buy these or lease these equipments are going to be very happy and in, actually enjoy using them i'm actually thinking i'm going to make this a bit smaller but basically we have to think about the end user we've got to stop thinking about i'm getting a bit shaky <laughs> got to stop thinking about just the wallet just the money, the profit. You know, we've got to make a profit, folks, but we don't waste, we don't put profit before humanity. We don't put profit before the environment. They've, that's got to be profit after the environment and after the human race. Those things, human race and the environment, must come before profit. And we must, and I also don't just want to be a CEO. I also want to become a scientist and I want to solve problems uh, using the money that I make as a CEO. To, make, to use money that I uh, make as a CEO to, to fund 
scientific experiments and, and, and activities to try and find solutions to problems like climate change. So we've got to find solutions. We've got to find solutions to things and that money of mine has got to go to work. And yes, I estimate the amount of money I want to donate to science and humanities as well is most of my payment, most of my wage. 95% of my wage I want to put towards science and humanities because we have to find solutions. We have to use our privilege as a rich person to make something of this world, to make this a better place, to make the world a happier and greener place for everyone, not just for the rich, not just for the elite. Uh, I'm wondering if I'm going to reverse this back or if I'm going to leave it like that. Um, but basically, yeah, I just want to make a difference. I, want to, I really want to make something of this. You know, I don't want to be a a problem. I want to be the solution to the problem or the problems we have as a human race. Let's see how this turns out. Yeah, that looks interesting. It looks a bit wishy-washy, but the face looks a lot nicer. That looks, the background there looks a bit shitty. Wondering what we're going to do with this. Um, wondering which one we're going to use. I think we like that one better, so I'm just going to quickly readjust the uh, exposure. This machine's making horrible noises, but basically we have to think of our, our future folks as a human race. Uh, I mean, even, even after... Uh, all the money that I've thumped into science and humanities, uh, I'm still going to be a rich person. So don't don't worry. I'm not going to go broke. I don't want to go broke, but I don't want to be the kind of person that 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 loves money. I'm actually thinking this is I'm going to leave it like that. It's not perfect. I was thinking it. I didn't enlarge it enough, so we're just going to leave it like that. But basically, it really pisses me that the current status quo is that people care only about money in themselves and they don't care about the human race or the environment. And we do need the environment. If we don't have the environment, the human race will die. So, you know, we've got to think of what we're, what we're doing and try to make the world a better place. Being by doing something you're passionate about. I've been into copiers um, for decades and I'm really happy to find my voice at last, even though I haven't actually managed to go to Free to Air TV to find my future husband, Luigi, who I lost years ago. He's the one that's gonna unlock all this stuff. So I'm looking forward to finding him if I can get my work on the Free to Air TV channels on the news. Anyway, that looks interesting. I think now we can call this demo quits.